This is how I almost quit YouTube and fumbled my entire career forever. This story all starts back in October of 2018 when I hit 100k subs on YouTube and I did my first face reveal. At the time, my views weren't looking so good and this face reveal was basically my only opportunity to get my viewers back. After the video, my views did okay for a bit, but then like they just immediately plummeted to the same views I had before. I was just making the same videos, not improving and just blaming the YouTube algorithm them basically basically like just thought the youtube algorithm just hated me fortunately it doesn't work like that and you could revive a channel at any time so that's what i did but this got me really demotivated and like my upload schedule was honestly pretty good back then way better than it is now if i'm being honest but the videos were less high quality and i posted way shorter videos so it explains the easier upload schedule and this guy is not leaving me Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh. My upload schedule went from like uploading every three days to once a week and then to every two weeks. And this was a product of just me not being motivated to make the videos I was making because it required a lot of energy and I just did not like doing them because they just didn't get good views. And I don't know. Like, after hitting 100,000 subscribers, which was my main goal at the time, I just didn't have any motivation to make any more content because I already reached the goal I wanted to achieve. I, obviously, I wanted to hit a million subs, but, like, obviously, anyone wants to hit a million subs, right? But you gotta put in the work in, and I just wasn't ready to do that. So, I slowly just started making content until... Hypixel Skyblock came out, and I thought this as an opportunity to blow up on YouTube again. And actually, I was friends with Tommy in it at the time, like, we talked, like, quite a bit. And he was the one that messaged me, like, when Hypixel Skyblock was coming out, like, oh gosh. Tommy was the one who told me about Hypixel Skyblock, and I thought this was my opportunity to make new content. A new Hypixel game mode came out, and when I came back from school to play it, oh my gosh, it was so fun. I played with like all my friends. We all started our own island. It was like an island of five, and I'm pretty sure Meep was one of the original members on there. Meep and Wudo, if you know them. But we played that, and that was like so fun. I like didn't... I only made like a few videos on Hypixel Skyblock because instead of it just being a fun game I played, it literally became an addiction. Like me and Wudo split away from the Island of Five and we decided to make our own island. Oh gosh, what? Me and Wudo split away from the main group and we made our own island. And this was because we wanted to take the game seriously as opposed to like our other members not like playing they were just playing for the fun of it not to really get that good so on this new island me and wudo created we absolutely tryharded the game and this consumed a whole year of my life this was all of 2019 and i'm pretty sure some of 2020 and we joined like crazy guilds we were like honestly pretty like decent players at the time and i abused my youtube rank a few times to get op on hypixel skyblock at the same time, I was seeing my YouTube channel fall apart in front of my eyes for that entire year we were playing. I was only getting a few thousand views as opposed to tens of thousand views I would used to get every video. And like, my sub count legit stayed the same for an entire year. I was stuck at the exact sub count, 135,000, for over a year in my channel. And this was really demotivating, so... Instead of like doing something about it, I just like completely phased out of the YouTube scene and just stopped surrounding myself with other YouTubers that grow too. At this point, I was okay with just not uploading because all my other friends didn't upload as well. So I was like, why should I? And this spiraled out into even of a worse effect when after our Skyblock phase me and Wudo went through, we discovered a voice chat proximity chat server like using a client and you could basically talk to people that you were in vicinity with. So that means like if someone was over there, I could literally hear them from over there talking. And if they get closer to me, they're like louder. And that literally got us addicted. We played a lot, talked to a lot of people. Like I think this was even worse because this was during quarantine when I was able to spend like 12 hours a day on my computer. Like honestly, every day felt like the same thing. I was just waking up, playing Minecraft, doing my own thing, you know? But this was not fun at all because I knew that in the back of my mind, like I needed to upload no matter if I, like, 
Get this meat. Get this out of here. In the back of my mind, I needed to upload. And after having such an inconsistent schedule, I just decided to completely stop doing YouTube when I was playing on this server. I don't know if it's me or something. When I don't have a specific goal in mind to work towards, lose all essence of meaning in life. Like, everything in my life was really centered on YouTube. And when I took that away, it was like, dang, what's my life equated to now? So that is how I almost quit YouTube. And if anyone else is going through this right now, this content struggle, like, trying to find the content you want to do, trying to appeal to the algorithm or whatever. You gotta find, like, a good per- Oh, my- Come on! Bruh! That you should find content that you actually enjoy making, and start making content on that. And then you can eventually, like, change as you go. It's just a matter of, like, what your goals are. Because if you don't have a specific goal, it's kind of hard to make content for the long term. Because, you know, why would you do something if you, like, you don't have a goal towards it? But that's just me. I'm so glad I got back into YouTube. When I got back into YouTube, I was so, like, ready to just make content and, like, become a bigger YouTuber than what I was. So, I'm happy everything worked out. And you just gotta trust the process and work your butt off. And that's it.